what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of the best podcast on the planet the league report yeah before this episode before i hit record we got we just finished roasting each other for about 40 how long we've been joining on each other 40 minutes as <laughs> carl got as soon as carl hopped, hopped his ass in this call <laughs> we we yeah we talked shit about each other for about uh about a good hour we were supposed to start recording at uh what like five yeah and it's yeah. six now we've been talking shit about each other for about an hour so that that, that, that lets y'all know we need to get some behind the scenes footage what we need to do that's the next big, that's the next big phase of the legal port is to get some behind the scenes shit out um yeah blake, blake don't want that <laughs> we're gonna catch all i mean I don't, I don't mind it man I, I want the people to see ty i like your shirt man i, I didn't mean to tell you that bro you know what i'm saying that's a, that's a nice shirt you got on bro my champion shirt yeah thank you i that what did that sure, about anything it's, it's like, real like, nice. Like, like I'm yours. just saying it's real nice. Sure, like, I like your it's shirt. real nice. You said my like, shirt. I like your shirt. We're bro. not gonna bring the we're not gonna bring the Jonah session into the episode because they ain't gonna yeah, nah. the people ain't gonna get half the joke we be saying. Um, y'all don't forget, sub to the channel, help get us to 500. Um, right now we're sitting at 300 and what 68 right now? 388, I think. Hey, 388. It was yeah. 389, but you know, you know what happened. Some people just be hating. Yeah, every, every time we get like that big influx of subs, one person just leaves. So sub to the channel. Don't forget to hit like, the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Um, don't forget to download episodes on Spotify and Apple. Very, very soon. We talked about this last night as a group. We're going to be streaming episodes live. Don't know when yet, but it's coming. Um, so y'all going to be up in the YouTube chat, yeah. whatever, when we're going live. So we're getting that set up. New podcast setup coming very soon. We working our ass off on this OBS Studio thing. Anybody who uses OBS Studio knows the struggle. So, trying to get that figured out. Um, on top of that, you want to get your own podcast started? Check out the description. Go do it with Buzzsprout. Hit that link. You'll get an Amazon gift card, a twenty dollars Amazon gift card. Buzzsprout is super helpful. You get your own website, analytics, all of that good stuff. It'll help host your podcast and it'll get you out to directories like Spotify and Apple. And all of that good stuff. So, very, very interesting part of the season. Um, we have two teams remaining, obviously. We're coming off of, in my opinion, where where would y'all put this? Because I watched it, and it was a very entertaining game one. Where would y'all put this game one amongst other game ones you've seen recently? Because to me, it's probably the best next to 2018. Obviously, when J.R. Smith had the fuck up. But that was probably the best game one I remember seeing where would y'all stack this one up over ones you guys can remember watching? Um, I think it's, it's up there. I yeah. mean, it was it was looking it was kind of looking to look a blowout towards a halftime. Well, not halftime towards a the fourth, probably towards the fourth. Yeah, because I think that's when uh, Golden State pulled away, but they kind of messed up when they took Steph out. Yeah, just, yeah. But um, I mean, it was it was a good game. It was a good game overall. Very good game. Video, bet you they want um, bet you they don't win another one though. The beginning of that game, it was that the pace was off the chain, like dudes were firing threes. It was really back back and forth. And I know we can talk about going state blowing that lead, but it was evenly matched. I mean, they like I said, they should have kept their foot on the gas. Not, nothing told me though that they were gonna keep that like double digit lead. Like it never because I feel like people coming into the series kind of have a perception. I know ESPN said because Blake, you sent that tweet the other day. ESPN said, like uh what. Boston was favored heavily in the series or whatever. Yeah, 83% to 14%, I think. Yeah, I don't know how they got them numbers. Yeah. And it I I to me it it doesn't look like anybody's only only overmatched as far as experience, right? And it kind of showed early, like in that first quarter. Like I don't know if y'all remember, but Tatum looked nervous as hell. You know, Jalen Brown looked nervous as hell. Guys are fumbling the ball, but once things started rolling, it was what it was. So very entertaining game one. A lot of stuff to unpack from it. Um, what, what what would y'all say is the big? I start recall with this biggest thing you took away from this game one from the series so far. Um, biggest thing I took away from it is it's it's and I don't know if the Warriors have this advantage. They might. I feel like they do because Andrew Wiggins sometimes might be their X factor, or Jordan Poole or um, uh, Kevon Looney on the on the offensive on the offensive glass because he gets a lot of offensive boards or whatever. But when the Celtics don't, when when their two main guys don't play well, I feel like that's when Al Horford, Al Horford and Derek White step their ass up and be yeah. like knocking down shots all over the place. Yeah. Like Al Horford was lacing them shots, lacing like them. he wasn't missing. So that's probably what the that's the biggest thing I took away from is that when the Celtics two main guys don't play well, I always I feel like I can always count on Al Horford and Derek White to show up to kind of yeah. pick up the slack. 
like yeah. all the time. Like I feel like that's that's the only reason really they've gotten this far in the playoffs. Very true. Into- we talked about last pod X factors and how big those X factors are going to end up being. Um, you know, we talked about Marcus Smart having to come up huge, and he was great in game game one. He was amazing. Like he, met, I remember, I think he hit two threes to start the first quarter off, and really kind of got him running. Um, yeah. Derek White off the bench, kind of bringing in what he brought in from the uh, from the conference final series. So they did their thing. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's going to come down to X factors. Jalen Brown kind of got his stuff going, kind of after Horford and those guys started picking up slack a little bit, and. It, for, for them to do that without their best player playing at a high level, Tatum didn't play great basketball at all. I mean, he distributed well, and he did help defensively a lot. But, um, you know, he, he did the things that you want your best player to do when his shot's not falling. I think Golden State did a good job of, like, taking him out, not really letting him get to those ISO one-on-one situations. Yeah. He hasn't gotten to him a lot, really, in the playoffs. But like I said, yeah. dude stepped up, and that's what's going to come down to the series is having those role players doing their thing. They better be scared next game because he don't have two bad games in a row. No, that's he how he keeps his. That's how he keeps his average up to like twenty five or north of twenty six. Because he he might have a bad game one game, but he come back with a thirty point game. I noticed that. That's facts. So, that's facts. Trouble. That's so, facts. Golden State in trouble. Well, they're not in trouble, but I like I love I love to see them lose. Nah, Carl, Carl just Carl just hating. They not in trouble. This is one game. Yeah. Now I, th- I say if they lose, if they lose this next home hey. game, I say they in some they in some trouble. Hey, they be saying it's just one game, but let's not act like one game don't matter. Oh, there's like some stat. There's like some stats saying like if like the home, you know, they got those numbers where like if the home team wins or if the away team wins game one, some percentage of time they win the rest of the series or whatever. There's that whole thing. So right well, that, now, that, that won't that won't be happening. Yeah, this, this is this is such mm-hmm. an evenly match. I don't think people realize how like well matched this series is. Like there's like last year since like we had really back to back really good matchups. You talk about Milwaukee and Phoenix. You know, that series could have easily went seven. It kind of went a little down to the wire last year in game six. And then this one, um, I like the way the NBA is moving, the direction we're moving as far as like um, not we're, we're out of this. I remember the issue was how outmatched people were a couple years ago. Remember that? Like watching the finals and there was like this glaring favorite, even back in LeBron days. Right. It was Miami. Mm-hmm. Well, I, Miami wasn't really favored. It kind of okay. It felt like Miami was going to dominate the East, but when they got to the finals, it, it was well, it was it was evenly matched, but it was kind of like Miami and then whoever they got matched up against in the West. But I feel like you know now things are really evenly matched. We can expect these super competitive series. It was weird at first knowing that LeBron wasn't going to be in the playoffs and Kyrie and Katie were out in the first round. But the yeah. we come to this, it's really dope to see that uh, these two teams are so evenly matched and they're kind of doing their thing. So I like I like what I'm seeing so far. Like I guess there's a lot more to unpack, but it's great yeah. seeing uh, this. After what was kind of a boring playoffs, I think we're gonna get a good end to this uh to this postseason with the final go seven. I think it's basically if we just look at the series as a whole, I think it's basically great defense versus great offense. I yeah. think it really that's kind of that's kind of what it is. So it's just we gonna have some nights where dudes, you know, make all them threes. We gonna have some nights where dudes start missing threes like the yeah. like the Warriors did at the end of the game and the yeah. Celtics start locking their ass down. But yeah. we gonna have some times like where like I probably would say in that first quarter, how Steph ass was hot. Yeah. Making all them threes, great offense is going over the great defense. So it's yeah. it's go teeter. The whole series is go teeter back and forth. Yeah, teeter big time. Uh, you know, shout out to Peyton Pritchard. Also, we're talking about those Boston role players. That dude came up big. He knocked down big shots. This is, you know, this is I think it, what a second year point guard right now. He looked like I think yeah. he, is, he looked like uh what's the dude name from uh N one ball uh basketball, Mr. Professor. I don't know if you all know yeah, the, the professor. professor. The professor he looks yeah. like the professor. I said he Mr. Like professor. professor. That sounds stupid. Yeah. Uh yeah, he looked like a professor, Mr. but yes. <laughs> He can he can on any night he could probably give you quality ten points. Yeah, for sure. So it's so funny looking at the narratives about Boston at the beginning of the season, and we were and look, we had those same narratives about him at the beginning of the season, and now no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm about to say everybody. Yes, did. Did. Yeah. Everybody was on the same page about Boston at the beginning of the season. Um, you know, yeah, with, I thought they was gonna suck. Me too. And it was funny because talk about Peyton Pritchard. I <laughs> playing time was an issue at the beginning of the season. I remember it was like a huge issue. Like I remember they were saying you don't because like he played a lot last year. He was in the playoff rotation when they got their ass whooped in the first round against Brooklyn, you know. And then I remember this year at the beginning of the season, he wasn't in it as consistently. So now to see him, you know, kind of get trusted with those big minutes, knock down big shots, got big stops. I love that. I, I like I said, boss is kind of adopting what Golden State had. Remember back in 2015 and 2016, it was all about strength and numbers. You know, Boston did just that. You know, multiple guys getting it done. Yeah. Smart, white, Robert Williams showed some good stuff here and there. Jalen Brown, we got to give Jalen Brown his credit. He turned it up when he needed to, you know, in that mm-hmm. fourth quarter. So he was, he was carrying them 
that first half. He was. Well, there was a point in time where he was getting yeah. his ass clamped, though. They had that nigga in jail for a couple of minutes. Yeah, I would say his best, his best run was that third. Yeah, that, that was his. That was his time that third quarter because that first half he was kind of looking like a looking kind of pedestrian. He was probably yeah. that third quarter more than anything. Just to know, watch this great of a game though in Oracle or what? What's this arena called right now? Chase Chase Center. Chase, Chase Center. Center. Yeah. Chase. I'm still gonna call, I'm still call Oracle Arena. Fuck it. This. Yeah. <laughs> Point that they got this great of a game without Tatum playing like this goes to show you the way the rest of the series is gonna go. Mm-hmm. I mean, we talked about a dude how he can yeah. sub different, like the the evolving of his game. Thirteen assists, you know that's not normal. From you know what I mean? Like this is a dude who we thought had no play. We were critical of the point that Brown and Tatum really couldn't play make. Now this dude's putting up over six assists a game or whatever in the postseason. So. Yeah. Yeah, it it'll help too if, if them dudes you pass to knock down every shot because yeah. they weren't they yeah. were not missing. They was taking down every shot they took from the so, that, they go, dude. That, they weren't missing that, shit. That's what I'm saying. They were like like between Al Horford, I read this that Al Horford, Derek White, and uh Marcus Smart. They were 15 to 28 from three or something that's like that. That's insane. Which is crazy. That's why Draymond was reacting. He was like, I don't know what you all want me to do. I don't see that happen again. Which he has every right to feel that way because that's kind of to be honest, I don't either because it's like that's like it, almost everything coming together perfect. You know, you know it's like, you know. I feel like next game, this is going to happen. They're going to come out feeling good about themselves, shooting all these threes. They go miss them. Yeah. I feel like I feel like they're not going to be as – I don't want to say lucky, but they're not going to be as fortunate to – Shoot themselves out the game. Making, yeah. They, that's, but that's what they do, though. That's why they've lost some games, and even in the playoffs. Yeah. That's why they – that's why they actually give up so many leads sometimes. When they up by 15, they lose that shit hella fast because mainly they shoot a lot of threes. can't do that against Golden State. No, you can't. But that's what got them there. They shoot threes, they make them, so. So it's amazing that just just think about what Boston was able to win with. Let's go look at some of these numbers. So Curry has a dominant game, thirty four points, even though he didn't really do. He wasn't as dominant as dominant in the second half, but he still was up at thirty four. Golden State shot at forty two percent from uh, from three. They had five more offensive rebounds. We thought that was going to be the thing. We thought that was going to be the difference between this with this series between these two teams was their offensive rebounding. Mm-hmm. You know, Golden State goes out, re- out rebounds him by five. All of that, Tatum mm-hmm. plays shitty, and Boston still picks out a win. That's some shit. Ain't yeah. that some shit? Yeah, they finally actually, they was, I don't know, Kevon Looney, yeah. Looney was actually doing what I thought he wouldn't be able to do against himself because he was actually out rebounding their ass for, yeah. for a moment. Then they start, you know, then they put their big boy pants on and stop mm-hmm. letting them get all them damn rebounds. And yep. that's when they kind of went on that run. Yeah. For it. It was a matter of locking in, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, that's what it – even from the first quarter, you just kind of knew, like, Udoka was like, I, we're doing kind of – we're nervous. It was so many ner- – it was so much shit that you're not worried about. Like, it never felt like Boston felt this level. It, it was amazing seeing it from a young team that's never been – I mean, they, they've been to the conference finals, but being in the NBA finals and playing against Golden State is a completely different thing. They never seemed, like, out of it. Like, there was never a point in the game where it was like, oh, shit – you know what I mean? They, they never hit the panic button. We've seen teams hit that fucking panic button. And it never seemed like Boston hit the panic button at all. You know, like they turned it up when they needed to, um, you know, made the right adjustments, kind of kept calm throughout all, all the four quarters, and they did their shit. So shout out to the Celtics for winning that one. Um, shout, out to, shout out to the Seas. Y'all better come out. Y'all better come out and get that next game, though. Yeah, because this was a fun- that's, that's, that, that game, too, is always the most dangerous game when somebody's up one over to me. I know that sounds simple. But it's just like the fact that you, the fact that the road team like won one, one, one of the games at your home spot. Yeah. That's that's kind of that's I don't know. You better yeah. win that second game. You yeah. better like I'm dead serious. Yeah. Some tell me this isn't gonna be one of those because I hate those series where it's like the home team always ends up winning. Like some tells me it's not, it's gonna be it's such an evenly matched series, and yeah. there's so much different stuff going on. It could be like every you know what I'm saying like everybody can steal a couple as the in a way as the away team. That's kind of yeah. what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to look too that's, far. That's, what, that's a good, that's a good evenly balanced series. I'm not trying to see everybody get blown. What was that? Uh, that's bullshit. Uh, what was that once? Huh? You like love it? You, you like love it? You shit literally shit like say you yeah, love but it. I, let's let's not talk about that. But uh, that, that, <laughs> Phoenix, that Phoenix and that Dallas series where the home team was there, it was going like back and forth and stuff like that. Granted, it did kind of get entertaining, I guess, if you yeah. want to call it that. If you don't like Phoenix, it got entertaining for you. But I mean, it's a, it's a nice change of pace. Me, big time, big time. And uh, I don't even though look I at... like seeing dominance, and I know Golden State will uh will prevail in victory. Hey, ain't gonna prevail over Boston. Um, uh, I can kind of see. I don't know if I'm crazy for thinking this. I can see Boston winning 
winning this game too, but I can also see the Warriors coming back and winning two games in Boston. Yeah, that's how that's how it's going. That's how the series going to end up being. Or, or, or kind of vice versa, like Golden State wins game two, Boston wins game three. Yeah, Golden or State Golden State winning win the next four. That's yeah, I would hate I would yeah, have no. to hate that. That'd be like one of the yeah. biggest pieces ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, Celtics played too great of a defense just to start <clears throat> start losing that yeah. many games because simply even though Steph had 34, like in the second half, I don't know the numbers on it, but I'm gonna let, 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 he slowed down a bit. He did his thing, but he slowed down. He slowed but down I'm saying in the fourth, in the in the fourth, in the fourth, he was basically non-existent, though. They they basically yeah. clamped him a little bit in the fourth. I don't game. I don't know why Steve Kerr took him out when he was Need to rest him. You can't, you can't, you can't let him play. The yeah, whole but game. it's the playoffs, bro. I, I saw a quote where he was talking about like uh, now that we got like six, seven more games to go, it's all hands on deck. So it's like I mean, I, they, I well, they, rest they, they had a they had a bigger lead. So when you have a big lead like that, you you figure you could you could rest yeah. the start or whatever. And they're yeah. good enough to keep the lead. So yeah, when they took him, I agree. When they took him out, they were up, and I do remember them taking him out like late second quarter because he got in foul trouble. I do remember that. Um, so it speaks to I think Golden State's role players. They've got to find a way to continue to get offense when Steph's not on the floor. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest thing. And I think you kind of look at yeah, he's cool enough. Yeah, like you kind of look at Jordan Poole. He didn't have a great game at all. Yeah. Um, nine points, you know, completely below what we expect from him. Nope. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we expect too much. I don't know. Maybe no, we, expect too much. we don't. I'm, I mean, especially what he's doing. Is he fit for the, is, is he he doing doing for the stage? Nah. No. I'm. I, I ain't gonna say. Yeah, that, you can't. Has, you can't really say that when it's your when it's your first time he, in the finals. He has. He has the last probably five games or so. He has. He's. I think he played. I, I can't. He probably played well to probably four games ago. He yeah. has had he has had a couple bad games, but probably the last five games he probably yeah. didn't really played that well. That's Andrew Wiggins probably picked up the slack. Honestly, yeah, yeah. But they've got to find ways. A couple of them games, yeah, especially against yeah. Dallas. Yep, true. They got to get that offense with when Curry is not on the floor. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not too worried about I'm not too worried about that move forward though because there are just too many weapons here and they run too great of offense. So like a lot of these mistakes, even Draymond Green pretty much said it like in yeah, the yeah. post game. Draymond Green said in the post game like. Some stuff you're just not really worried about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like some some numbers you look at or some instances you look at during the game, you know you're going to make the right adjustments moving forward. It's not panic mode at all for either team. I know it's, you hate giving up leads and shit, but, like, I'm not – there's nothing I'm looking at right now go say, like, oh, shit, they have to fix this. Like, I'm not worried about the point that the role players weren't amazing outside of Andrew Wiggins. They're going to get it right. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. That's kind of how I look at it. So. Yeah, no, I think it'll help them. It actually is. Because sometimes, even though Draymond Green, he's clearly a good, a great floor general, I think it hurts them at times that he's such a, a liability on the offensive end. Yeah. Because free he can't throw, really – Free throw-wise, really, yeah. too. Yeah. No, free throw-wise, definitely. But I'm saying you can't really stress the floor with him. So, sometimes you know he ain't go you, – you know he ain't go shoot the ball, so you can just simply double clear stuff. It's that easy. Yeah. Honestly, and, sometimes. So. And it, look, a couple times, like, they kind of dared him to shoot. I remember somebody – I think Amon texted me, like, uh, Namana Bielicha should have been on the floor to hit some of those shots Draymond Green got. You know what I mean? So, there's some hey, guys hey. – Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, but so then he went go too deeper in that rotation to kind of help with some of the shot. Made. I mean, it's not like they shot it bad. They shot forty something percent from three. So, you know, as a no, team, they kind of cooled. They kind of cooled off towards the towards the. I'm end just of, yeah. I'm just saying how he could help him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, sure. These couple games, but he's been he hasn't been the same shooter probably since KD came there. I'm be honest. So it's like it's, it is what it is. KD, KD, <laughs> you you stole that man's shot, man. No, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for some reason, though, that's weird, though. As soon as KD came here, his shot definitely went downhill. I'm not saying he was ever a great shooter, but he was decent. You Like, you, like he would knock down a shot. I'll say that. I don't even know yeah. if I say decent, but yeah. he would knock down a shot. Now, when he shoot it. Or shoot maybe it like, he's just getting older. Hey, no, it's not. Now when, now, now when he shoots it. I was, I was trying it. to cut him a little bit of slack. No, yeah. I ain't, no, because when he shoots his ball, be looking like a screwball or something coming out of his yeah. head. I don't know. Yeah, it, it looked like he, he, throwing, he throwing it at the back of Yeah, <laughs> basically. You want I want to appreciate these numbers because there's always with Draymond Green it's always what he does doesn't up on the stat sheet. But you yeah. have to you got to see more from a guy that you're looking at as probably your third most important player. Four points ain't gonna cut triple it. Triple single. Yeah, yeah. Was was it was like a single single? He had a or a single triple or whatever, a, a single double. A this single dude double. said a single single. <laughs> Some shit. He had eleven assists or eleven rebounds, five assists, four points. Some of those shots have to go down. I want to see that Draymond. Most that of those shots got to go down. Yeah, we need to see that Draymond that we that we saw. I think in game was a game five against. What was the closing game for against Dallas? Was it five? Mm-hmm. We need that Draymond. We need that version of Draymond. If I'm correct, I think he had a big game. I made a lot of shots at the rim. Did his thing. That's the Draymond. Yeah. So, 
This this is this is random. I know uh Andre Iguodala was playing, and it's kind of funny because he didn't play the whole playoffs. All of a sudden, you just want to play in the finals game, but you didn't want to play the rest of them playoff games. That's weird, ain't it? Yeah, I think he was. I think he was yeah, yeah, that's 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 funny. My yeah. real funny guy, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, man. He said, are you, actually, are you actually hating on this man, Carl? No, I'm not hating. I'm just saying it's funny. He didn't play the whole playoffs, but he started to play the finals. He wasn't that hurt because he was hurt. No, he wasn't I hurt. On nigga dollar, fuck it. Yeah, huh? I, I hate he on nigga dollar. I hate he's his, done that. He's done that before. I know. That's why I'm saying I know he ain't hurt. I hate on his 2015 MVP, and I hate on him how he did the Grizzlies. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why. I'm, that's how. That's why I'm saying I know he ain't hurt, bro. He ain't played. Uh, he ain't hurt. Nothing's wrong. He probably said they need me. Yeah. They, probably, they really don't need him this year. Did uh, Did Gary Payton get in the last? No, time? he didn't. He. I was surprised by that. He didn't. Yeah, I was surprised by that. Well, what's I don't know if I was surprised. They had a great thing going. Yeah, so I don't know if they would just push them in automatically. Yeah. If they struggled defensively, I, f- I feel like they would have done it. But Celtics was just knocking down some great shots. I don't yeah. think Kerr has a good thing going though, where they do this thing, kind of get into the X's and O's, like where they do this thing where they're like they're like totally switch defense, like they go man to man a couple of possessions, then out of nowhere just throw like a one two two zone at them, and that totally took. But I mean, I remember in the first half that totally took Boston out of it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I, I think they kind of got to ride that. Um, you know, keep figuring out ways to kind of, uh, you know, confuse and throw Boston off. Um, Cause we, we, we see, we saw teams a lot. When we saw with Dallas, we're going to say kind of threw that zone at them at random times, just threw different zone looks at them at random times. And it just kind of took them completely out of the game. And they just started settling for a bunch of perimeter shots. So yeah, he's riding that high hand. I, I like, I like what he does defensively. I know they gave it up a little bit, but um, I, I kind of like when they kind of go deep in their defensive, uh, uh, defensive playbook there. So a lot of stuff yeah. can happen. A lot of stuff can change. I was highly entertained by that game from the get go. The energy was off the chain. It was great seeing Curry get off to that hot start. Um, you know, people are gonna keep on with this fourth quarter Curry shit. You know, based off of this game, well, Curry can't get it down in the fourth quarter. All of that. Nope, he can't. No. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You have to keep it going. But all in all, great stuff. As you said, you don't want to see nobody give up no lead like that, but. You know, it, it was good to see the home team kind of take a punch in the mouth early to kind of know we we know what kind of series is going to end up being. So, yeah. And another yeah. Another, another big shout out to Big Al. Another big. I ain't talked. I haven't talked enough about Big him. Al coming coming yeah. coming through. Big, big Al, Al was playing. Through. Big Al was playing like he'd been there before. Yeah. Big Al was playing. Big Al was playing like he'd been to the finals before. Yeah. He might. Hey, if he keep up, if he keep playing like this, I ain't gonna lie. Heard he your might first time, Carl. He might end up being uh, I know <laughs> he might end up being finals MVP. Don't be surprised. Great I wouldn't be surprised. Like yeah, after seeing Nigga Dollar getting anybody can get it nowadays, huh? Honestly, honestly, yeah. Even you. <laughs> I should. I put my. I put my name in the head. I might get it, but uh, but no, yeah. Big out. If he if he had if he has probably two or three more performances like he did uh last night, and then say Tatum struggles a couple games, he can definitely get it. Big time. So let me name. Let me list off his career here, and I want to ask y'all. This is a Hall of Fame career. Five time All Star. All NBA third team in 2011, all defense second team 2018, all rookie first team 2008, and he's a two time NCAA champion. If he gets a ring to go on with this, is he a Hall of Fame player? Yeah, yeah, I think so. My my criteria is a little stronger. They're going to give it, probably give it to him, but I don't think. I think first of all, I think they let people in too easily. Anyway, that's been my opinion. But thank thank God you're not over the committee. (laughs) But no, because they let who who was in there that got in there. I don't think really should have been in it. So you all think Trace McGrady, you think Trace McGrady should have been, and I love Trace McGrady, but his career was flawed because he kept getting injured. As dynamic of a player he was, it'd be hard to not put him in there. Okay. Is Penny is Penny in there? No, he probably won't because his, his run was so short, but it's a shame. But he's a little he's a little different than T Mac. Penny was a little different. I think T Mac was so dynamic that you just couldn't ignore it. Penny well, I think T Mac had a little more, or had a longer, little longer run before he, he started getting hurt. Than he Penny. did. Penny had like three years. And, and Penny didn't have any years as like the guy, as the best player. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As soon as he, as soon as he was, he basically got hurt. Now, like now Brandon, Brandon, I will say T Mac didn't do shit when he was the best player, but still, like as far yeah. as playoffs and all of that. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, look, look, at the, look at the team. Well, I can't really say look at the team too as well. But I mean, some of them were weren't that great. They were okay. Yeah. I mean, that is, was that Houston team really that good? 
He had some, was solid. Um, he had some solid. He, he had solid teams, but they weren't going to win no championship or nothing. So yeah. I never really. But but my no, but my thing is like I kind of like, but with the bas- with the basketball Hall of Fame, like they they put college stuff into it too. Yeah. Like it's not the pros, so it that's why some people kind of get in, yeah. especially if you say he was a two time champion. So he's yeah. he's probably going to get in, but they should make my 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 critique is they should make an NBA Hall of Fame. Like I don't understand why there isn't one. That's yeah. stupid to me. Yeah. Like how the NFL how the NFL got one. And then they have a college. You, college, you think college the NBA is bad? The NFL, they, they all famous. Oof. Yeah, it's hard to get in that one. Well, it depends. If you on TV, no, you it's, no it. it's not. If it you don't, no, it's it's if you on TV, you go get it. That's, I think that's what happens. Like if you on TV with certain people, you go. I get mean, it. I, I think the NFL does a pretty good job of determining who can get in and who who can't. I think I think it's, they, it it makes it better than the NBA just based off the fact that they have their own Hall of Fame. NBA Where need one. NBA I don't know. I don't know what Todd so. Don't Todd, don't you think they need yeah, one? Yeah, they do. I don't, I don't know why they it doesn't make sense to me that they don't have it. Yeah. Cause no. it cause look, because look, the MLB has their own and the NHL. Like what the hell? Ty don't, don't, don't say no. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they should do, honestly. I, I, I'm big I'm a fan of NBA Hall of Fame. I told you. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I said I said there should be just NBA Hall of Fame. I think there should be. There's gonna be so much readjusting and shit, though. Oh, okay. It's gonna be so much readjusting and so okay. yeah. Um uh, if they don't have, if they don't have one, if they don't have one by now, they ain't gonna never have one. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. Sp- speaking of changing structure and shit, remember a couple of episodes ago? I think who was I with? Was I with? Was it just me and Carla? Was it all three of us? We were talking about all NBA. Adam, I almost said Adam Sandler. Adam Silver, um, uh, I think came out and said this is a random fact. He came out and said that they're actually gonna start looking into positionless all NBA teams from now on. Just a shout out. Just a shout out to us because we, right. we talked about that a couple episodes ago. So just a quick, we yeah, we, we, we we made them think about that. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. They, they need to do it because honestly, some of these some of them dudes don't even play positions they're supposed to be playing. Yeah, honestly, so yeah, it's just I mean, you, you, got, well, so you, damn, you damn, don't get you don't get people whining about. Oh, I got snubbed from this. They got snubbed from that. So. Yeah, so just pick Donovan Mitchell as a center. I don't care. Him, yeah, him, nigga, just give us the five best. Give us the five best. Five five best, best players yeah. because. Sometimes even if you pick a certain amount of players, a certain amount of position, I can pick the five best players. And they would toast. Yeah. I mean, literally, literally any, yeah, anybody can do any of those positions. To be honest with you, so. yeah, yeah, because like the first, like you can just say the first team that was picked. Let's be honest, we could probably pick five other dudes that beat them on five and five. That's yeah. not about really not about position. They're like positionless. So yeah, yeah, just pick the guy five best with the five best season for the first team, and then all of that. Just just do that. It's just simple. Like if, I, if I was playing, I would pick me all five positions. Like that's I bet you would. That's, a, that's what I would do. That's a terrible all star game. <laughs> I got another thing. I think I got flack from it Um, because I remember posting this on Snapchat and people were swiped up crying about it. Um, We got a couple people crying about it on Instagram too. I know Carl's seen it. Um, I, I rank. I we ranked the best finals in of the last five seasons. Oh. So the ranking was this. And I, I, was there anything wrong with this? So the rankings, well, let me give my argument for some of these because I made this one tweet. So I said Giannis at number one, just because of how he closed it out. And I was such a big fan of the story. Um, and let me look at it again. Yeah. So there's Giannis at one, Katie at two, because his numbers were just off the chain. LeBron at three. So that's where I feel like some of the flack started happening. It was having LeBron so high. Kevin Durant in 2018 is at four and Kawhi at five. So people thought Kawhi should have been number one. So was it, out of these five, is Kawhi number one? Do y'all see the Kawhi being number one argument? Uh, my argument. I did. Okay. I did. I did until you said most of the motherfuckers was hurt in the finals, which is true. That's my own but- Cause it seemed like with this in that series, like game by game, I know I'm, I want to give Kawhi all the credit. We did start thinking he was the best player in the NBA after that series. After that series, but yeah, it just, I yeah, I don't know where I don't know where Blake fell on that with the Kawhi thing after 2019. I think I think he should. I think I don't know if he should be five or one, but I think he should be in the middle. Okay, okay, so maybe I'm, he played even even though even though Kevin Durant was hurt, he still played too great for me to put him at the bottom. Like yeah. I would put some up. Uh, I don't know, Kevin Durant, even though he did play great, it's uh, he was on look, he yeah. was on that team, and he was on that team. Like Steph, Steph was getting a little doubled. He was getting single coverage, as they say. I don't know how true that was when they was arguing about that a couple of days ago. Do you yeah, all think? Yeah, I, I saw that on Twitter too, and I was yeah. like, that's that Steph was getting more doubled than him. I never paid attention to something like that. I don't I, know how I, y'all feel about that. I don't remember them throwing a lot of double teams at Steph. I don't remember them throwing a lot of double teams at Steph. I just I just remember them having to worry about who I'm gonna guard. Am I gonna guard KD Clay or uh yeah or KD? 
And yeah. no, I just think no, KD got some wide open shots sometimes. But KD's points came easy as hell in Golden State. They just did. That, you know? That's my no, but that's my point though. So I kind of look at those those numbers he put up. I'm like, I mean, I'm not saying he because he, he could have did it if he was with OKC, but it just more it adds more value to me when it isn't Steph Curry and Clay Thompson that you have to worry about. Very They're true. a better shooter than Kevin Durant, and Kevin Durant's a hell of a shooter. Yeah, so. very true. So I guess Kawhi being that low was ridiculous. Was LeBron being that high? Was that because you get back to this bubble thing? Yeah, it's a little high. That's a little high. Okay, a little high. I might I actually might put him five. Really? Or four? I might put him four. I'll put I'll put Kawhi's over his honestly. Okay. So we were redoing this. Would it be so right now? Like I said, I have Giannis twenty twenty one, KD twenty seventeen, LeBron twenty twenty, KD twenty eighteen, Kawhi nineteen. So let's go. If I if we were redoing this, what would you say with it? What, what would you say it should be, Carl? Uh, I don't know. I think if I was redoing it, I'd probably go. Would you? Well, what would you say if we were redoing this this list? I feel like Giannis is don't really have a. Um... Like we were talking about the Suns, how they play, how they kind of play hurt teams or whatever. Giannis yeah. really never played a hurt team in the East. Yeah. Like he really was clean going all the way through. Was he? Like yeah, anybody yeah. hurt? Mm-hmm. He was. Atlanta. He was hurt too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. He hurt. was hurt too though. So I don't really care. I don't really yeah, count yeah. that. So he basically played everybody clean. Nobody was really hurt. So that's why I kind of might leave him one. Okay. Basically, because it's not really anything you can really say about that one. And then the LeBron one. I might drop him. I don't know. But KD, the two KD ones are really tough because he did put up numbers, but like you said, his shots came so easy. Okay, I right, let me argue 2017 KD, though. 2017 KD going up against oh. 2017 Cavs. The 2017 Cavs were not out, Matt. I don't give a fuck. LeBron and Kyrie had it. They could have been, t- that series could have went a lot better than what it did. Yeah. So I feel like that series was maybe more evenly matched than a lot of us thought it was. There was a slight... Yeah, we- State. Going into it, we thought it was evenly matched, but then when we saw that Kevin Durant, I mean, not Kevin Durant, Kevin Love couldn't guard and he was struggling to get a shot off. That's yeah. when he realized it was like three against two, not three on three. With I superstars. guess. That's because Kevin Love struggled. He couldn't defend, he couldn't shoot. Like they was all in his grill. He just looked pedestrian. Yeah. So it was, it was basically, it was basically, if we being honest, it was basically um, Kyrie and LeBron versus Clay, Steph, and KD. But they and were, Dr- and I guess Draymond, if you want to put his ass in there too. But they were the defending champs that year. That's my thing. Yeah, they were. But you know, defending champs get knocked down. Look what happened, to Buck. You know, you get knocked down. So what I, happens? I, but I got to keep. I get what you. I get I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying though, because I definitely thought it was even. Like I, everybody did. But then when we actually saw Kevin Durant on the court versus that versus that Cleveland team, like yeah. they destroyed us. Yeah. After that one, after that other game. So we we so you said you said us. Ugh. Yeah, that was my team. Us. So we win. <laughs> so where are we dropping that KD at? That 2017 KD at? Are we dropping them to what? This is really tough, Brian. A lot to you. I don't know what. No, it's not. I, I yes, I it is. Go, I, no, it's not. I can tell you. No, no, it's not. So what do you rewrite? So if you had to yeah, rewrite this, what would you do, Blake? What would you say, Blake? Uh, Gian- Giannis won. Uh, Kawhi two. Okay. 2018 KD three. Uh, LeBron four, and then 2017 KD five. You have 2018 KD over LeBron. What's the argument for KD? I think LeBron's is more so. Uh, you don't like I, that bubble? I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the main reason why. But why 2018 KD over 2017 KD? They had DeMarcus Cousins on the on the 2018. No, no, they didn't. But I mean, DeMarcus Cousins wasn't. No, he was on the 19 team. Don't listen to me. Yeah. I, I, no, yeah. 17, the reason I had 17 KD so high because of the numbers. I think he averaged like 35 or some shit like that. He might average 35. Kyrie, so, was, so that was that was the last year, 2017. That was the last year Kyrie was in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Kyrie, Kyrie said, I ain't gonna have this shit. I ain't about to keep losing. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh switch uh switch 18 and 17. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. And so 18 yeah, switch, switch eight. No, yeah, yeah. Switch 18 and 17. I may put LeBron's fist. What was the bubble that bad? Yeah, I made put LeBron's fit. Plus, AD was doing his thing too. So. One thing, one thing about LeBron, I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like what he did. I don't know if you this bothers you all the same way it bothers me. When they won the championship, right? 2016 or 2020. This dude was sitting, no, 2020. This dude okay. was sitting in the corner like a little kid. He want he was claiming he wanted the attention. Everybody was trying to give him. So 
he was drawing attention to himself basically because he was just sitting down in the corner. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, LeBron, I'm like, bro, LeBron know how to control that shit. He, I'm like, bro, get your ass up. Yeah, that was Le- that oh, actually made me mad. You know oh, what I'm talking man. about, don't you? Even in 2016 when he won and did the whole crying and shit, that LeBron know he know how, how to milk it. He know yeah. how to milk it. LeBron, he he that he got to. He Hell got of an actor. Hell of an actor. Hell of an actor. Hell of an actor. He got to. Remember, I don't even know if y'all remember the funniest shit about 2016 wasn't even when he started crying. I don't know if y'all remember. He goes up for the dunk like late fourth quarter, gets fouled, and he does the thing where he's on the ground and he's like like pumping his fist against the ground and shit like that. Y'all remember that? He said his wrist. He said his. He almost baptized Ray. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he was like, "Oh he my did. god!" I was like, "Nigga, get your ass up!" I don't know what the hell Kyrie ass was doing. Kyrie drove the damn ball. But I was like, "God damn, Kyrie, what you doing?" But yeah, but this is a tough one. Okay, so I would keep Giannis at one. Yeah. I would put Kawhi at two. Okay. I guess I was tripping on Kawhi. 20, no, it's it's really you can really you can really go, but I understood why you put Kawhi like lower. I just couldn't put him at five because yeah, he just yeah. played too well for me. Yeah, true. Put him at five, so I would put one up. Yeah, so I would at two. I would put Kawhi at two. Then I would put twenty seventeen KD. Nah, fuck, I don't like none of them KD stat. I don't care. I'm putting LeBron at three, KD, KD four, twenty seventeen, and KD five, twenty eighteen. I don't care. Nah, I don't fuck, care. All, fuck all the Kevin Durant. I don't care. He was on Golden State. They were 78 won 73 games. Nothing he does to me matters. I don't care. I don't give a fuck about KD's rings. Don't show. Don't look at him now. He's sitting down like me. Let me let me stop. He might come after me. I'm just playing. Hey, don't let him hear that. He'll get right at if you. If I tweet, if I tweet Kevin Durant, he definitely gonna respond. I'm damn. I'm damn here finna do it. This see I'm like, hey, KD, nigga, you trash. And I'm gonna see what he say. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you got to say something more for, uh, provocative than that. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, that's, try, that's good I'm, enough. That's I'm going to try enough. to get Katie's attention today. He's going to say some hurtful shit, too. Like, nigga, you at home not doing nothing right now. Shut your ass up. He said, up. I'm about to pull He said, no, he said to one dude, I'm about to pull a, I'm, I'm about to pull a, uh, yeah, my, I broke card or my, yeah, my, yeah. my I'm rich card or something like that. I'm like, dude, you scan. I'm, I'm going to pull out my, uh, um, y'all broke card or something. I'm rich yeah. card or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Either way, I mean, the same thing. It's a nasty, what do you say? It's a nasty agenda going on right now. Blake, can't no water, but it can't no, there's no way there's that much water in that water bottle. <laughs> you know, he's drinking like a little, little, little. Oh, it's Bro, little just drink that. Just he's trying to ration it out. Nah, he can't, he can't, y'all can't see it, but he don't know how to get them, them 16 that's, now. That's big, that's big water. Get them that's that's, that's limited. Hey, put, put that water back in the camera. <laughs> that, that's water. It's put like, that, put that water back in the, put that back in the camera, Carl. It's water, bro. It look, it look like some lemonade. It clearly looks like water. Go ahead, I know it don't. That little baby water he got. I gave it to my kids. <laughs> it's better, it's better than that fake, that, that water lemonade combination you got. That's not even real water. Go ahead. That's the first bottle of water Carl had in about Actually, a week. you got him started. <laughs> you did. You Yeah, you really got him started. He, uh, about to chew on, he about to chew on this water bottle next. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so, uh, all I got to say now is predictions for game two. Warriors win. How Celtics much? And six. Celtics and six. How much? About five. About five? Yeah. Who who has the big game? Is it Curry again or is it somebody else? Curry. Yeah. Okay. Draymond Green. Curry or Clay. Curry or Clay. Last game, Draymond Green led the Warriors in scoring. That's what I want to know. Probably never. <laughs> never. No, probably That's actually, never. I'll be honest with you. Probably, well, probably game, when Steph, probably. probably when Steph was out with that. Uh, no, game. look. Game seven of 2016 in the finals. Really? Let me I go get the last one. Maybe he was balling. He was balling that game. Was he? Um, I don't remember him doing anything. I don't remember him doing. No, that. look up his threes. He was the only one knocking down shots. I'm, I'm dead ass years. I don't even wow. want to credit, but I have to. Twenty sixteen. Game seven stats. Look up game seven. Great my green. Real yeah, quick. Right. Let me see what he what he scored. If you can find it. Draymond Green in game seven. Let me see their basic stats. In game seven of twenty sixteen, that nigga scored thirty two points. Wow, he did. Sc- he had 32 points, 15 rebounds, and nine assists. Looking like Will Chamberlain out there. He was, he was six from three. I told you, he was the only one like getting buckets. He was six for eight from three. That nigga was cooking. He was cooking. Yeah, because wow. he played the whole game. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Blake said he played the whole game. Stop this. You no, know, he literally, he literally played, he played 47 minutes. That's why. Yeah, Steph ass did choke that. Did he, did he really? Did he really play? Yes, yeah, dude. Steph, he literally yeah, played Steph, 47 minutes. Steph choked. They be on Steph ass, and some of it is warranted. Some of it's not, but some of it is. He, that nigga he, had 17 he, points on 28% for three. Yeah, that nigga Steph. Steph be playing well in some games or okay, but sometimes he do be kind of Draymond. I don't want it. Draymond almost had a forty-point triple double. They would have had to pay, and they would have gave that nigga two two hundred million dollars extension if they won that game. That nigga was having an out-of-body experience. <laughs> that ain't never happening again. <laughs> no, but I think I think uh, I think I think the Celtics go win game two. Okay, 
And really? I actually think I think I think Jalen Brown gonna have 35, and I think Jason Tatum gonna have 40. I don't know, something like that. Maybe not 40, maybe that's too much. Always, always trying to be different. I really no. do see how Tatum kind of figures out his way around that, that Warriors defense, though, because they ran everybody at him. He's going 30 plus in that game. Yeah. Like, I think that's a given. He's done it all the time. Like he'll have a bad game. He comes back with a, uh, with a, what I call it a Blake, like a Blake game, because you know Blake be scoring 40 points. Yeah. A Blake like game, he come back with. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were No, I'm complimenting yeah. you. Take, just take it. Yeah, right, right on, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I think one thing if we can take from this series, like what guy, what the guys get better at. One thing, like you can just see that, like the details these guys pay attention to, um, you know, with their game and how they come in like year by year. So like for Tatum, one thing you we can say like, oh, he needs to get better at this major thing. Like he needs to get better passing or whatever. We're gonna see next season, Tatum's gonna be a lot quicker getting to his moves. Right, last year, like this, like game one, let's say they throw the ball at to him in the mid, in the mid, like in the mid range area, like the high post and like the left elbow. You know, um, Kobe, you know, we talk about comparing him to Kobe. As soon as he sees that guard, even a Jordan, as soon as he sees that double team coming, he's spinning to the other side. He's not, he's, he's shooting a turnaround jumper. So next year we're going to see Tatum kind of speed up his moves a lot. You know, it is, you can kind of see like some of the slight details you guys pay attention to to like help up their game. We're going to see yeah. Tatum make a lot of, it's amazing how skilled these guys already are and how you can kind of see what small, you know, little minute details they pay attention to, um, you know, to 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 up it up to to take it to another level, level next year. So, I just it's like kind of that out. yeah, it's like over the last two years, he he got like a, he got stronger as a defender too, yeah. obviously, because yeah. he wasn't known as defense coming to the league, and probably over the last three years, he's definitely improved on that end, and he's got a lot stronger. Yeah. So like he can definitely move people easier in the post. But one thing I think they can, I think from a coaching standpoint, uh, Yudoku can help him out from is don't let him tire himself out and bring up bring the ball up all the time. Yeah. Let him let somebody else bring the ball up and let him kind of get in the post and do his do his work. Yeah, I agree. They were kind of it was like kind of like it was kind of like like force, not forcing. They were they kind of were trying to force you to ball. It was force, yeah. Rhythm. yeah, and I get it. You try to help him get rhythm because you want to get your best player that type of rhythm and that type of game. But I mm-hmm. agree to get to where you're comfortable at. But it's kind of hard to navigate that zone where they just throw it at you at random times. He was totally off rhythms and still managed to impact the game. So, yeah. Mark of a superstar. What do we say? Superstars find ways to impact the games when the best part of their game is taken away. He did literally yep. that, and he's done that the entire postseason. So yeah. he's going on forty. Yeah. Game, he's going forty. Game, and that's a testament. That's a to me. That's a testament to how he came in the league as a role, kind of as a role player on a really good team. So he knows how to do kind of the grimy. Not I. I mean, he was always offensive, my offensively minded guy, but he knew how to do the other things to help his team win. You know, when he wasn't top priority, when things weren't going his way, that's kind of like I kind of look at that and say, okay, he knows how to do that because he had experiences with that early, you know, in his mm-hmm. career, you know, he knew, he knew how to get yeah. down with it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, oh, okay. Um, Carl, know what <laughs> I'm bet, talking about, don't you, Carl? I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I bet he, you know what I I'm don't, talking I bet, about. I, <laughs> I bet he, uh, I lost my train of thought now. I bet he uh-huh. wish he don't, um, because at first he wanted to get drafted by Phoenix. I bet he don't want to, I'll bet he don't wish that now. How would that be? I wouldn't. I wouldn't have minded that to be honest with you. Well, obviously, if you would have, they went to the finals last year. Who know what? Who knows what would happen? But yeah, if you had Jason Tatum, Devin Booker, and uh, Chris Paul, that would have been beautiful. You probably wouldn't have got Chris Paul, you know. I think Tatum would have been a I, I, different player too. Yeah, I think they would have molded him to be like a three and D guy. I feel like ugh. he got there. I mean, he shit. He a three, three, three and D guy now. He just. Can dribble. Yeah, I, I feel like he would have been boxed in. Like we saw, they boxed in Aiden. You know what I mean? Like niggas is question Aiden's value. Right oh, Aiden's now. gone. Yeah, Aiden. Speaking of Aiden, he's gone. There's no way he's standing out. Yeah. It's up to them. It is up to them. Um, that does oh. it for this pod. Um, we're gonna be back on Sunday night, right? With a new episode. Wait, did we say Sunday night? Wednesday. You, you said I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. 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 <laughs> Blake, I don't better check like the you. final schedule and, and tell y'all we're back. We're gonna be back next week um with another episode. Don't forget sub to the channel, don't forget to download new episodes. Do not forget to hit that link in the description if you want to get your own podcast started. And we are gonna see you guys next week with another pod. Yeah, man.